Hey everyone, it's the Oscars this weekend, and you know what that means. It's time for David Hart's Lindsay's Totally Uninformed Oscar Picks! In the area of writing, as in an original screenplay, I think that the award is going to go to Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained, just because everyone seems to be giving it everything this year. And for writing an adaptive screenplay, it's probably going to go to Tony Kushner's Lincoln, because let's face it, it was awesome. In the area of visual effects, I think we can all agree, give it to the Avengers. They deserve an award. Give them this one. For sound mixing, it's probably going to go to Argo, because they had this real way of keeping me on the edge of my seat when I knew it was going on. Sound editing, I truly have no idea, so let's go with, um, Django Unchained. That seems like the way to be. For short film live action, I'm going to go with Henry because it's written by a guy named Yam England, or Yam England, and that's an awesome name. Give it to him, or her. For short film animated, I think we all agree it's going to go to Paper Man. Paper Man was just so good. The short before Wreck-It Ralph, uh, just, if you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube now. Go watch it. For production design, again, I don't know much about this. I should, because they're all really talented and they create amazing things, but I think it should go to Lincoln, again, because I'm biased, but because of amazingness. For a music original song, I think it's probably going to go to Skyfall, for Skyfall. For music as an original score, for some reason I feel like it's going to go to Life of Pi. I haven't seen the movie, I read the book, but I just, I've been hearing mixed things, but I've been hearing that it's just a very beautiful musical landscape. For makeup and hairstyling, I'd say absolutely give it to Les Mis. They nailed the period. Whatever your qualms are about the movie, granted I liked that movie, but whatever your qualms are about that movie, they looked the part. For foreign films, again, I've heard of none of these, but since Canada's nominated, we're going to go with War Witch. For film editing, uh, Argo, sure. For documentary short subject, give it to Racine. For documentary feature, oh, Searching for Sugarman's nominated. Give it to Searching for Sugarman, it was so good. For directing, I think Ben Affleck probably deserves to be nominated, so I'm a little disappointed that he's not even in this category, but given that he's not, I'm honestly tempted to give it to Silver Linings Playbook. David O. Russell did a really good job, and so give it to him. Why not? Costume design's going to Lincoln. Who are we kidding? It's a period piece that's very popular. Cinematography's probably going to go to Django Unchained. I have opinions about Best Animated Feature Film, and those opinions make me lean towards Wreck-It Ralph. I'm going to say if Brave wins, I'm going to be very disappointed, because it shouldn't. It didn't deserve it this year, and Pixar should not be rewarded for what they've done. Actress in a supporting role? Anne Hathaway. We all know it's bound to happen. Actor in a supporting role? It should go to Robert De Niro. He was amazing in Silver Linings Playbook. Just like, the subtlety, and just, he was really good, and I think it, he deserves to get this Oscar. Now, for actress in a leading role, I'm a little bit split. I haven't really seen most of the movies nominated. I thought Jennifer Lawrence did a really good job, but from what I've been hearing about Zero Dark Thirty, I'm kind of tempted to give it to Jessica Chastain just because it was her movie and, like, she sells it. Actor in a leading role? It's going to Daniel Day-Lewis. For Lincoln? There's no question. He was just... He was Lincoln. Now, for Best Picture, I know, I know, everyone's saying Argo, and frankly, it probably will get it, but I think the best movie this year was Lincoln. I'm biased... But I vote my heart. So you know what? Lincoln for Best Picture 2013! And that's David Hart's Lindsay's Oscar picks for 2013. Based on no research and just gut instinct. The way America intended it to be.